In this video I'm going to show you how to add brake line information to a surface. So here we have um, the land XML file which has been brought in from a survey. I haven't done anything to it yet, I haven't made any surfaces, so I'm just going to show you how that's done here as well. So over on our Toolspace Prospector tab, come to Surfaces, do a right click, create a new surface. I can give it a name here, it uh, doesn't really matter, I'm just going to use the default one there, so surface, it'll come up as surface 1, go OK. Oh, sorry, surface 2, because there was one in there already. So I need to now uh, put some information into that. Right now, surface 2 has no information, so I need to define it. And I need to define it by point groups. So left-click on point groups, then right-click on point groups, and go Add. I'm just going to make this simple. I'm just going to bring all points in and go OK. Now I can see some contour line has come up here already. And probably not enough contour lines, it's not the way I would like to see it, I want to show that in a slightly different way. So what I need to do is come up to the name of the surface and do a right click and select surface properties and I'm going to use uh, contours and triangles as my surface style. So click on OK there and uh, that's, a bit, that's a bit better. Uh, I like to see the triangles at this stage. Now what a brake line will do, you can see what's happening here. We've got points out here which are called LAN which were uh, a lawn that was surveyed and you can see that there's a grey triangulation line going all the way out here to the point WL. Now in between that we've got two white lines here which represent the top and bottom of a curb line. So when we're surveying this, or when we're contouring this, I should say, we don't want to contour directly from the lawn here to the point out here, which is a white line. That grey triangulation line should not cross a brake line. So I'm just going to show you how it's done and then you'll see the difference between them. So over here, what we need to do is, while we're still in the name of the surface, we need to come down to brake lines, do a left click, then do a right click and then go add. Uh, description, I'm just going to call it uh, curb for the curb. The type of brake line we want to use is proximity and then just go OK. And I'm just going to, now if you look down here in the command line it says select the objects. So I'm just going to select the objects by clicking over them like that. I'll also, while I'm here, click on the two that are down here. Now when I press enter this time watch what happens. I should no longer have a line, a grey line crossing the white line. Okay, so you can see here now there's no grey line crossing the white line anymore. My triangles are going out as far as it. And I can do that in a couple of other places just to show you. So again, if we go up here, you can see that there are clearly are triangulation lines going across this little space in here. So we'll make some more brake lines. And I'll call it K2 because it's, it's again, it's a curb proximity. Go OK and select the objects and press return. And again now you'll see that I've got a series of triangles which are wrapping round the object that I want to use as my brake line. They're not crossing the brake line anymore. And same thing can be done over here. Again you can see clearly where we've got this point LAN here and this point uh, 264 and point 232. They should not be joined because we don't want to contour directly between them. We want to contour from point 232 as far as this curb line, then the contour will stop, and then the contour in the car park will come out and meet the curb line as a separate kind of entity. So again, go back into brake lines, right click and add, and I'll call it K3. The type would be proximity, go OK, and then just click on the line you want to use as the brake line. Now what we should see is that the gray triangle line here should no longer cross over the white line. So press enter to that and you can see that it has generated a whole series of contours, uh, sorry, a whole series of triangulation points, but none of them are crossing over that gray, that uh, white line anymore. Now there are issues with this drawing. You can see there are points down here which are far beyond what was actually surveyed and uh, this drawing will need a little bit more work to tidy it up. But in terms of how to add a brake line to a surface, that's the procedure.